So if I understand the rules to this, Velveteen Dream is making Pete Dunne fight to get his fuel back. Apparently. Climb the ladder and get the canister. Ouch. Oh, right up there. Just a step quicker. Ooh, what impact. He's looking a little stunned right now. Yeah, definitely off of his game. Pete Dunne showing that British strong style. Yeah, he's tapped into his reserves and is going strong. Oh. Oh, a knee. Lights out. He evades the attack. Great counter. Impressive in-ring IQ on display. Lightning fast reflexes. Oh, nasty impact. Point of the elbow, nailed it. Boom, what a throw. free there and that can change the entire complexion of this match he is just reeling from that offense he's getting beaten up out there but staying strong oh foot just stomping down he's absorbing some tough hits now you can't climb a ladder if you can barely stand he needs to recover a little shane thorne is a good choice for this match with his speed, he should be able to get around Pete Dunne and get the canister quickly. Uh, Pete Dunne is a veteran in that ring, Michael. I'm sure he has a game plan to get the gas down for himself. Getting the ladder set up now. This could be the beginning of the end. Look out. He's got it in his hands now. It is all or nothing at this point. Do you think Dream does this kind of thing a lot? What else is there to do out here, Saxton? It's a wasteland. Well, I guess you need to keep yourself entertained, right? pretty determined to get that can. Dream is probably providing them with incentives or bonuses if they win. Dream has a bonus structure? Gonna reach out and try to grab the briefcase uh -oh, uh -oh. and unhook it. Going for it all. Interesting timing to say the least. Don looking to end this thing. Has it set up? That's his go-to move. Can he finish this off? Will Shane Thor be able to continue? Big move from the Bruiser Way. Let's see that again. Shane must be under orders from Velveteen Dream to keep that canister from Pete Dunne. Absolutely disgusting. Dream stole that from Pete. Now he has to fight to get it back? Things are pretty rough out in the wastelands, I guess. We knew we were in for something special between these competitors, but they are taking things over their own limits. Ooh, no luck against Dunne there. Too quick. I don't think this is the first time that Shane's done one of these matches. I get the impression that Dream has run these matches before. Yeah. Makes me not like Pete's chances too much if this is their hustle. This isn't over yet. Climbing up the ladder. It's awful that Dream is making Shane and Pete fight for something that was already Pete's to begin with. Okay, Dunn needs to be more careful if he's going to be out in the wastes like that. Dream's probably the easiest situation he can deal with out there. Here he goes, guys, looking for the win. Uh Pete Dunn has the canister. 
Tough match for Shane, but good for Pete. here tonight. One of the United Kingdom's finest, Trent Seven, is here to take the canister from Pete Dunne. I hate to say it, but that's a good choice on Dream's part. Trent can get it done. Great agility there. Ooh, right to the throat. Pete Dunne loves to dissect his opponent. Just like he's doing here. Taking his time. Oh my gosh. Stomping. Ouch. Hammer lock. Uh oh. Uh oh. Showing some quickness. And this match can change that fast. Bruising assault from Dunn. Yeah, when he's going like this, no telling how long he'll keep it up. A humiliating slap. Bang! Oh, well measured strike. Uh-oh. Oh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. He can withstand a lot more punishment, I can promise you that. out here, especially when there are no count outs. Trent has got to be a strategic pick for Dream. Even if Trent doesn't get the can, Dunn is going to have a fight on his hands, and that's going to have effects on his next match. A mountain to climb, would you say? That's not... Uh, no, Corey. Inside the ring now. Getting a ladder in position now. Smack dab in the center of the ring, too, Cole. Really targeting the back on that one. Pete Dunn is fighting with purpose and determination in there. Truly a seasoned competitor. He also really wants that fuel back. That, too. Big reversal. Wow, what a sequence. Look at Dunn. Gouging the eyes. Oh, I'm oh. your neck, man. Oh, what a counter. And now that one's counter. He's in full control, man. He's starting to struggle here. This ladder match is wearing him out fast. Oh, man. Trent Seven is clearly enjoying himself in there. A member of British Strong Style, Trent isn't in that ring to be flashy or to showboat. He's going to look to overpower Pete Dunne 
and make it so that he's so battered and bruised that he can't make his way up the ladder at all. There's more than one way to victory, that's for sure. Perhaps trying to get a quick victory here. Not a bad strategy. Hey, when you have the opening, why not go for it? Whoa, it's another reversal. One tactic that Pete Dunne could use here is his joint locks. Trent can't climb a ladder if he can't step on a ladder. Or will he use his True, but Trent Seven's nothing if not resilient. He'll find a way up that ladder somehow. Oh, Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet. That might be the final nail in the coffin. Gentlemen, Pete Dunne might have this one all sewn up. Big move from the bruiser weight. Let's see that again. This is a match of technical skill versus pure strength. It's hard to say which will come on top in a match like this. And ladders do throw a wrench into things, that's for sure. He's trying for it. Not sure what they're thinking. Heads up the ladder. Ooh. And now he's continuing to fight up top. Don't think this is going to end well. He's going to have to hurry and pull. No time to waste. Got to get it down. A match like this is tough on the body, but combine it with heat and sands of the waist, and it has to be just brutal. It's brutal. Pete Dunne has won. Trent Seven has got to be kicking himself right now. Here is your winner, the Bruiser Waits, Pete Dunne. That's a career. This is going to be a tough one. Delivering the suplex. Oh, target acquired and destroyed. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Boom. Really just laying it in. And again, yet another counter. Not again. One of these competitors is eventually going to have to gain the upper hand. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Oh, nasty impact. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. He had to be prepared to take some damage tonight. Oh, solid contact there. The bruiser weight living up to his reputation. He's definitely turned it up at an opportune time. How can Pete Dunne keep a man like Tyler Bate down long enough to get the canister? Pete Dunne is a master of joint locks and manipulation. Tyler might be strong, but he can't lift you if his joints are hyperextended. Boom! What a shot. A striking blow. This is a tough spot to find yourself in, that's for sure. All the way down, falling power bomb. Tyler Bate just too fast for him. Uh-oh. Dream has got to be happy right now. The first two matches must have softened up Pete, and he's looking forward to Bate finishing the job. I'm sure he is. He caught him slipping. Just launched. He's lost some of his win now. 
Not a situation he wants to be in when he still has a ladder to climb. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. This could be huge. How much of a factor is the strength of Tyler Bate, Cole? I think it's a huge factor, Cole. One errant punch or well-executed suplex and Dunn's run will end right here. Couldn't have said it better. He's struggling a bit here. You can't climb a ladder if you can barely stand. He needs to recover a little. Pete Dunn loves to dissect his opponent. Just like he's doing here. Taking his time. Oh my gosh. Oh, that was just malicious. Insulting. The better part of Valor. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Here we have a match between two prominent members of British Strong Style. Each has their own take, which makes this all the better to see. Indeed. You're right, Saxton. Two immovable objects clashing over a tank of gas. What a match this will be. Oh, down for the next flex. And Tyler Bate is really taking a pounding. Oh, Mr. Dunn's opponent is about to meet. This could be the chance he was looking for. How is Tyler Bate going to survive this? Big move from the Bruiser Way. Let's see that again. I'm not sure why anyone would willingly enter a match like this. Too many things could go wrong, and a walking away on the road isn't guaranteed. Let's just hope we never find ourselves in the situation that Pete Dunn does, Byron. These superstars have endured so much punishment. Certainly looking worse for wear, but the tide can shift at any moment. Tyler Bate just too fast for him. Dang, nice contact there. Ooh, no luck against Dunn there. Too quick. Tyler Bate may not be as fast as the competition before, but he more than makes up for it with his pure power and tenacity. It's hard to keep this man down for sure. And in a ladder match, you kind of need to do that. The ascent begins. Hey, he, he could win it here. Not much time. Any way you look at it, ladder matches are rough on the competitors. Getting hit by one of those is going to have a lasting toll on the body. Not to mention that those ladders don't look like they're in the best shape. This is a bad situation all around. Turnbuckle, will this pay off? Ooh, what the impact! But he's still got to climb the ladder to get the championship. That's the only way this match ends. All the way for the top. Bad move there. Totally miscalculated the situation. He's stalking his opponent from the top top. All the way from the top. Attacking the core now. Yeah, without your core, Michael, you are essentially useless. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. And listen to this place. It's deafening in here, Michael. Oh, down with the next box. The bruiser right on the offensive. No telling where or when this will end. That was just malicious. Insulting. He skirts away, living to fight another day. A uh, dud with a hammer lock into an arm breaker.
Done, not done yet. Up, up, and away. Look at this. Can he grab it? It's inches away. Now you got to finish the job. And the canister's in his hands. This is over. Here is your winner, the Bruiser Wings, Pete Dunne. And there's your winner, ladies. And the Velveteen Dream himself has entered the ring. This should be good, Michael. Clearly, he wants to put an end to this. Gets out of the way. And fast. Ooh, what impact. He does just never relents. Yeah, he's operating at a level few in match right now. Boom. What's he going to do with it? How impressive was that reversal? Too quick to catch him there. Oh, kick right to the gut. What a shot. Looking stunned. Looking rocked. Harsh impact. Oh, wow. Come on, maker. The end is in view. Oh, man. Dunn is in trouble now. Flying. And it's Pete Dunne answering back. Oh, what a fall! He's taking some good hits. He planned for this and could still rally. Dream just barely got out of the way. Using the elbow as a weapon. Boom! Did you hear the impact? He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, he's looking off his game now. Flying! Bull Rainmaker! It's over. See ya. Thanks for coming. Might not have been effective the first time, but the second time's the charm. Look out here. He's got something cooking. Here we go. Oh, my gosh. This is going to be big one way or the other. Look at this. Diving Moonsault. That will get your attention. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. In spite of how tough this match is, neither of those two seem to be backing down. Now they're fighting for a lot. Neither of them can afford to. What grace! Float over into the DDT! Fight! Going up top. He's on the ropes again. Oh, look out! From the top rope! Oh, Line. We are beginning to reach a point of desperation in this match. These athletes' bodies can only take them so far. You have to imagine they're reaching their breaking point. Velveteen 3 looks a bit irritated in there. Look, I'm sure even though he planned for this eventuality, he isn't happy about having to lower himself to stepping in the ring. Well, then he should have had someone else in his stable. Who better to trust than himself? No one else was able to stop Dunn. Takes him up and down with the X-Plex. I'm looking to end this thing. Has it set up? Hand. Will he be able to capitalize? Nobody can sustain a drop like that, Michael. Big move from the Bruiser Way. Let's see that again.
Oh, the ladder hits. Jeez, that's gonna hurt. Going to get that ladder up. The ascent begins. This has got to be the end of Dream's game. If Dunn can beat him, he'll have reclaimed all of the fuel that Dream took. It won't be easy. With the way Dream moves in that ring, he can likely take that canister whenever he wants to. You never know. This could be it. Oh, I would be shocked if this doesn't end in a crash back down to the mat. Me too. Kenny and hook it. Going for all the glory here, guys. It's hard not to think that the Dream planned this from the beginning. Oh, that'll be Incoming. Dream just barely got out of the way. Super kick. Ouch. And it's Pete Dunn answering back. That is a great reversal. Off the ropes. You can sense it. This crowd is on pins and needles. The WWE Universe is ready to erupt. Are we going to the beginning of the end? Velveteen Dream is a near-perfect combination of speed and strength. Of all the opponents done his face, Dream will be the toughest one. No doubt, Cole. I can't imagine that even someone as seasoned as Pete Dunne has a good game plan to fight the Dream. Look at a steal a win here! That's his highway robbery. Can't blow it now. Pete Dunne looking for a suplex here. But, oh, sits right... He's so close, he can probably taste the victory right now. Pulling something down from that height certainly ain't easy. Tell me about it. And Pete Dunn has won it all. He has all of his fuel back. Here is your winner, the Bruiser Wayne. Tremendous showing tonight for Pete Dunne.